As well as the DS6 lighting system, Digital Sputnik have designed a system called the DS3. The DS3 has three light modules, like you see behind me, one, two, three, attached to one PSU or power supply unit uh, with full uh, RGB and white control on the actual module. And then once again, once stacked with a Wi-Fi controller, we can control the lights via an iPad. Uh, as you can see behind me, I am changing any of the RGB mixing as well as the base color temperature and as well as the intensity. Um, once again, full color control, full intensity control, full RGB mixing control via an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, the D3 system is really uniquely designed for one kit being able to travel and having three lights. Each light can be independently controlled uh, and be set as a separate channel, so it can act as a totally separate light. Or you can use it as a one light, so if you want to balance all your lights the same and have the intensity the same, you can uh, program it to be one light on the, on the app. Or you can actually clip them together uh, in different configurations. So uh, the module is exactly the same as the module we have here. We then just have a reflector system with the diffusion and barn doors on to make it a single light unit. These can be removed and they can either be clipped together on the cages to be, act as one light or two lights or two and one. Um, the other advantage of using the, the DS3 system is that they can replace skylights. So there is an adapter that you get where all three modules slot into um, a skylight adapter and then those become skylights. So these are really, really functional lights. Uh, they are a must for any kit or any lighting kit. Uh, they have a really good diffusion pattern. So one of these modules has about the same spread as a four-foot, four-bank um, fluorescent tube-based light. Um, they are really pokey, and without the diffusions, uh, you have a really nice hard source. Um, the DS3 kit is a really good complementary kit to the DS6 light kit, um, and is a must for all lighting requirements. So as with all digital Sputnik lighting systems, they are fully controllable via an app on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, as you can see, I have full color control as well as color temperature control, as well as intensity control, which is the brightness of the lamp, uh, as well as the vector and the intensity of the vector that I need to, the color that I'm trying to replicate or use in my effect. I have full control of my lights as they are all in a stack, and as you put more lights onto the stack, more will appear, or more onto the Wi-Fi controller or via a router, they will all appear here on your list, and then you can change your setup on each of the lights as you require, via color, um, intensity uh, of the light, as well as the color temperature, um, and the actual vector that you're seeing. Going into silent mode cuts the fans on the, on the lights uh, till they get hot enough and then they'll turn back on. You can actually control all the fans via it to be on silent mode um, uh, or the speed of the fan to keep your lights cool, although these lights burn at a very, very uh, low temperature anyway.